Hey there, guys. I'm Igor Sanchez. Welcome to our final episode of this series, episode three of Dewey's Mastering Dream Machine, a motion monthly series with Bill Alexander. Today, we close it out with one final marshalling before the Dream Machine disappears for good. So, guys, I hope you're all ready for it. Things are about to go in a different direction. Today, for episode three, it's Shishi's Superhero Dream. I'm so excited to share with you what we could do today. Shishi was featured on episode 363 of Motion Monsters by Feet, so if you haven't seen yet, go watch it right now. And if you haven't seen episode 2, our previous episode we did, which was Pookie's Truly Potty Dream. So if you want to go check it out, link to the videos up there on the top right corner of the screen. So click the info card up above, watch it right now, whatever you want. Also, don't forget about episode 1 as well. That was Gurgle's Moshi Sword Dream. So link to that will also be at the top right corner of the screen. So if you have the info card up above, and so click there to watch it, whatever you want. But for now, all things must come to an end. Are you ready? Let's end this, shall we? So about the dream. Be a superhero alongside Shishi in this epic finale of the Joey's Monster Dream Machine series. So this should be pretty good. Orange is the color, so let's jump right into it. So everything that you're about to listen to is real. Straight for the world of motion. You'll be warned and before you can start any warning. Moshi is a property of any credit goes out to them. No copyright infringement. It's intended. I own nothing. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for your attention. And now, all things must come to an end. With a runtime of 25 minutes and 4 seconds, everything ends here. Are you ready? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It'll this this is the end of our motion of the series. It all ends here. This is episode three, and it and it starts right now. Here we go. Hello again. Here we are, back in Flutterby Fields, where Dewey is still demonstrating his amazing Moshling dream machine. Gurgle and Pookie are both fast asleep. Yes. And Dewey is deciding who gets to wear the Dream Reader hat. Oh, right. Remember, as well as showing dreams live on the dream screen. Of course, though. Dewey's Moshling Dream Machine also records them so you can watch them later. I know. Maybe that's why so many Moshlings are jostling to have a go. I know, of course so. it's easy to forget your dreams when you wake up. Of course. Dewey decides not to pull a name from the hat this time. Not yet. He's going to pick a Moshling who isn't pushing to the front of the crowd. I don't think so. You see, the less confident Moshlings sometimes miss out on fun stuff. Of course. As Dewey scans the excited crowd, he sees a little Moshling sitting on a tree stump. Oh at boy. The back of Flutterby Fields. Yep, you all know her. He smiles, points at her, and summons her toward him. I guess so. It's Shishi the panda. The sneezing panda, you mean? Shishi looks surprised, but she's super excited to be picked. Okay. She makes her way through the crowd of Moshlings, most of whom are beginning to settle down once more in front of the giant dream screen. Of course, so. It's getting late. So Shishi will be the final Moshling to have a go on the Dream Machine tonight. Okay. The moon is gleaming in the inky black skies above. As Shishi tiptoes past Gurgle and Pookie, of course. who are smiling as they sleep. That's right. And clambers onto another comfy bed beside them. Uh, that's Dream. all I say. So that's why Shishi is the sneezing panda. But her speeches is never mentioned in the Moshi series. Whatever it is. Dewey has put the Dream Reader hat on Shishi's head. Yes. And attached it to the Dream Machine using the big rainbow cable. I know. He He's fiddles good. with the dials and levers on the Dream Machine. Whoa, amazing. He does. The crowd gaze at the blank Dream Screen. Okay, I get it. Dewey gets underneath the Dream Machine to make some adjustments. Oh boy. Shishi feels a little nervous. But she's too tired to worry. Okay, not to worry. Besides, she can't wait to watch the recording of her dream tomorrow. I know, that's great. And as she thinks about watching her dream, she forgets about the crowd around her. We may never know. And starts to drift. Coming to life. 
Yay, one more time. One last time, you mean. There's Shishi. But she doesn't look like the shy little panda that Dewey saw sitting on the tree stump. No way! She's wearing a red cape. Whoa! That's flapping in the breeze. Unbelievable. And a cool eye mask and long red boots. Yes. And she's standing on the top of a towering skyscraper. Whoa. Looking out across the city. <sighs> she, she is dreaming about being a super mushy. What? Come on. Super mushy. What kind of superpowers would you like if you were a super mushy? Yes. Help. Oh, oh. It looks like she, she would love to be able to fly like a bird. I know. Because right now, she's pointing both arms towards the sky and taking off like a rocket. I'll let my yeah, I'll let my subscribers know. And you can also let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. Because this is fun. She she is soaring through the sky, flying over a starlit city. As she looks down, she can see lots of moshlings wandering through the streets way below. Okay. As cars and buses drive up and down. Whoa. Oh, they come look on. like little ants. Okay, now I get it. Speaking of which, another cool superpower would be the ability to shrink till you're tiny. Just what? like an ant. Whoa! Thinks Shishi. And just as soon as she thinks about it, it happens. In fact, she's so small, she can flit around like a fly. Come on. She flies through a tiny opening in the window of a nearby skyscraper and watches the Moshling workers inside going about their lives. This is amazing. I can't believe it. She, she lands on a desk and everything seems so enormous. Wow. The, paint, the stapler, the coffee cup, and the cell phone that's sitting here feels like it's the size of a truck. Unbelievable. She looks at the computer on the desk and gazes at her reflection. <laughs> she looks so cute. I know. A fluffy black and white panda with her cape, mask, and boots. This is crazy. But she's tiny compared to the little racer beside her. Oh, boy. She, she now decides it would be cool if she could become tall instead of tiny. Mm -hmm. She flies out of the window. And just as she feels the fresh air on her face, she realizes she is now very tall. Very, very tall. Unbelievable. She looks down for somewhere to land and sees Petal Park in the distance. What? Come on. She, she lands on the soft grass. She is as tall as a giraffe. Yes, she is. She reaches out and touches the very top of the tallest tree in the park. Yeah. It feels like a little flower as she brushes her palm over it. Whoa. She can even pick the fruit in the tree without stretching. This is crazy. There are a few chipper chaffinches flying around Shishi's head. Just like Chirpy. They must be wondering how on earth the mushling panda grew so tall. Only time will tell. We'll soon find out. Okay, let's move as on. Shishi wanders through Petal Park, past the lake. She can see for miles and miles. What a great view. She can see beyond the trees, into the distant houses and stores in Monstro City. Unbelievable. Monstro City, come on. She starts to wonder what other superpowers a super mushy might have. Yes, that's crazy. But before Shishi has a chance to think too hard, uh -oh. her dream shifts once more. Here we and go. The moshlings watching the dream screen back in Flutterby Field are now treated to a new scene because she, she now has X-ray vision. Wow, come on. They look on as she, she, who is now her normal size once more, okay. flies over Monstro City. Amazing red laser beams are shooting out of her eyes. This is crazy. Totally she crazy. Can see straight through solid brick walls. She, she flies past Buster Bumblechop's Museum of Moshiness. I get it. And can see all the exhibits on display. 
Wow, we without having to line up outside. We don't need to. Amazing. This is amazing. She can even see the block of thawing ice containing the terrifically tusked mammoth that Gurgle saw in his prehistoric dream earlier on. That's right. Dream. We all know it, and then we get it. We're getting closer to the end, my friends. Almost there. <sighs> Back in Flutterby Field. Some of the marshlings watching the dream screen have started to doze off themselves. Yep, yeah, that's right. Even Dewey's feeling sleepy. Okay. He checks the dials on his dream machine to make sure it's been recording tonight's dreams. He can't wait to give the recordings to his friends. Okay. He wonders if they'll even remember tonight's dreams once they wake up. We will soon tell. Dewey looks over at Shishi. Who is on her bed, fast asleep. Okay. But smiling, just like Pookie and Gurgle. Yep, all asleep. He looks over his shoulder at the dream screen. And sees that Shishi is still dreaming about flying over the Mashi world. Whoa. In her super Mashi outfit. Can't believe it. In her dreams, Shishi is deep in thought. Okay. This dream has been wonderful. I know. But she's beginning to think that wonderful as flying and shrinking and growing and x-ray vision all are. One of the greatest superpowers of all yes. is sleep. It sure is. Sleep is the powerful and superpower. That, the dream screen goes blank once more. Oh, yeah. Seeing that she, she has now fallen into a super deep sleep. I get it. Dewey switches off the dream machine and decides to go to bed himself. Of course so. Leaving his little Moshling friends to their sweet dreams. Yes, they will. Goodbye. And remember, keep dreaming. Dream. Keep dreaming, my friends. Keep dreaming. That's it. End of episode three, ladies and gentlemen. All our moshing friends have went to sleep, and just like that, with about 11 minutes left to spare, with 11 minutes into into the story, it's all over. That's right. We made it through 11 minutes into the story, and that's and and so thus, it's over. Now we have one more story. We have one more series to get to. It's the Fantastical Moshi Field Trip series. And then we'll be done with the series for now. So, I hope you're all ready for it. Hmm, we may soon know. We may soon know. Only time will tell about our, our next Moshi Monthly series, which is the Fantastical Moshi Field Trip series. After that, what's going to be the next series after that? And what's going to be the next series after that? After that one's finished. Only time will tell. Well, we still got... We still got 13 minutes to get through. Uh, uh, uh music, so... I'll see you in a little bit. I'll see you in a little bit. Stay tuned.
All right, I'm back. So as you know, it's the end of episode three, and not only that, it's series over. So that's it, guys. It's all over. Thank you so much for joining us for your for all that hard work that I finally did over the past three episodes. <sighs> Next up will be the Fantastical Motion Field Trip series, and after that, what will the future hold for Motion Monthly series? We will soon know. But now, back to the music. I'll see you in just a little bit. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back, so sorry. 
I'm gonna sorry, I know it takes so long. But yeah, the series is over. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. So that's yes, thanks for watching this Moshi Monthly series. Our next our next Moshi Monthly series is the Moshi Fan is the Fantasco Moshi Field Trip series. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. Sorry, this iPad that I'm recording takes up lots of storage. The reason why it's YouTube. YouTube has the most storage at 21 gigabytes. So that's why I had to delete it and make it on iMovie. So sorry for that, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies for that, but I gotta make it happen. As you already know, I love having you on board and making the best happen. And I can't wait to do it again with you real soon. So. Well, big kudos to you, and big kudos to me. You can expect a new episode of Local History coming soon, where it will be about. The, where it will be about. Um. Cinemark. Also, the next episode of Inside Animal Crossing will be about Annabelle. Besides, new episodes were dropped, it was about Amelia. Next episode's Annabelle. Following that, on Pokemon Exploration, we'll be looking in. We'll, we'll, looking at, um. We'll be looking at, um. Metapod. So expect that video to come out very soon. So do not miss it, guys. And don't forget, we still have more great content coming your way real soon, including the next Moshi Field Trip series again. Our, our next Moshi Monthly series again is the Fantastic Moshi Field Trip series that's coming soon. So be on the lookout for that. Plus, we got Logos 2 coming soon. We got we got nine Logos on tap for you real soon. So be on the lookout for that coming your way uh, in the near future. So don't miss it, guys. And I, I assume we will be, assume we'll, we'll be heading. And it looks like we're going to be heading to Cape Coral coming soon, uh, uh, starting up uh, uh, very soon. Once we're there, we're going to start a new season of Logo History Moshi. That's right, Cape Coral will be the destination for season seven of Logo History Moshi. So do not miss it. Uh, it's going to be a lot, of, a lot of fun. And also be on the lookout for the next episode of Logo Reviews. It's going to be about Unimas. And don't forget, Rob Geo 04 with something else Logo History Told. That episode is CBS. So you can expect that video to come out very soon. I know. This should be pretty good. And I just want to say this to you one thing. All love, all love is never equal. Especially when it comes to being... To being part of, uh, of the family that lives within. So, yes. You know what I say? You know what I mean? Yeah, I thought so too. But anyways, for the rest of the schedule, please check out some other videos on the For now, thanks for watching. I'm Because Sanchez. You be yourself, and I'll see you next time. And I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned for a new series coming soon. Again, it is the motion, it is the Fantastic Motion Field Trip series. Be on the lookout for that coming soon. It might, it's going to be in Cape Coral. So, who knows what's going to happen. After that, what will the future hold for Moshi Monthly Series? Only time will tell. But we will soon find out, so stay tuned for it coming soon. As we all know. For now, if you want to go catch up on past episodes, go check out the playlist right now. Link to it is up there at the top right corner screen. Click the info card of the blog, watch it whenever you want, anytime you want. And don't forget, make sure to go check out MoshiKids.com for more activities, games, and so much more. Link in the description down below. So click down to the description so head over to the description and click that link to be able to get started today and for more content like this check out the, the Moshi Kids channel as well link to their channel is up there at the top right corner screen click, click the info card above and subscribe to their channel the, 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 we need more videos like this I mean they need more videos like this so head over there and subscribe right now I highly recommend you can do so with all that being said thank you all so much for watching I'll see you next time for another Moshi Monthly series the bad thing the fantastic Moshi Field Trip series Narrated by the same person, Philippa Alexander. Until then, please remember to leave a like, share this video with friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss the video, subscribe to the notifications, turn on to miss a new video from me as we're on the road to 3,100 subscribers. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in another video. Bless, bless thy Lord. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys again next time. Three, two, one, done. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in another video. 
coming soon, and be on the lookout for more great content coming your way in the near future. I'm your guys, Tenshi Zayoff. Thank you for watching. From the world of Boshi, like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!